Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm teaching you how to make money by simply promoting your favorite Amazon products. It is so easy to do, so today I'm going to take you guys through all the steps of the Amazon Influencer Program. I want to make this video because I feel like a huge trend on YouTube these days are Amazon favorite videos and I'm actually obsessed with them and I found so many new YouTubers through searching for that kind of a video. I've also noticed that some of these YouTubers that are posting these videos don't have a link to their Amazon shop in their description box. I'm not sure if they know about the influencer program and just don't want to do it or if they don't even know about it at all. So I just wanted to come on here and inform anyone who's watching this video about the Amazon influencer program. In honor of doing an Amazon video, I decided to wear my scarf that you can actually tie into a top and I got it on Amazon. It literally is under $10. It's like the coolest thing ever. It's like this giant scarf that you can tie a billion different ways and I'll have that linked down below and it will also be on my Amazon shop. I'm gonna go ahead and explain what the Amazon Influencer Program actually is, but if you just wanna see a demonstration on how to create your Amazon shop page, then you can go to this timestamp right here. If you are not familiar with affiliate marketing, this is basically what it is. I post the link to this top, maybe on my Instagram stories. I tell you all to swipe up, and if anyone buys it, then I get a bit of commission off of that purchase. So that is what affiliate links are, and that is pretty much what the Amazon Influencer Program is. It started off as just Amazon affiliates, so where you can create a link and get commission off of that, but now it's turned into where you can have your own shop page, and you can have everything categorized like tech, beauty, fashion, and just have like this really nice storefront for your followers to just easily find your maybe favorite jewelry or favorite clothes or literally favorite like air fryer. I don't know, you can put anything really on your shop page. Like I mentioned previously, it is commission based. So it is a very, very small percentage of the total amount of you know what this top costs. For some reason, Amazon doesn't really tell you exactly what you'll make off of that item that you're like currently linking, but there is a whole document of all of the commission rates. So let's say you are promoting gold hoops, then you'll look into that jewelry category, and I'm pretty sure I saw that it was like 4% for jewelry. So you would take like the total amount and times it by 0.04. So that will pretty much be your commission for the gold hoops. It is a very small amount, but if one person buys it, let's say it's gonna be a 50 cent commission, but think about the people with like a million followers and like how many people actually purchase the things that they recommend. They can make really good money from affiliate links. I'll have the link down below where you can see exactly what commission rates are for jewelry or for apparel or for kitchen stuff. I tried to research this and there really isn't a number out there that I can tell you guys, unfortunately, but it does say the more the better. So if you guys are just starting a blog, I definitely recommend to focus on gaining that followership because a lot of these affiliate programs do have a process where you have to be accepted into it. Now that I went over the program a little bit, we can get into how to sign up and get accepted and create your Amazon influencer shop. I typed in Amazon Influencer Program into Google and this is what I found. This is the page and I'll definitely link this down below just so you guys can have a direct link to go to. Um, so we're going to click get started and it's going to make me verify any of these accounts. I'm going to go with YouTube just because I have more followers on that platform. All right, so I am connecting my YouTube account and now I'm gonna create my verified profiles. Um, it has my YouTube, I guess I can put my Instagram in. I think that's the link. I found pictures and I have all my titles and everything so we can hit continue. So create a new store, I wonder, I guess that's my ID, I don't know. Looks like you're an existing associate. I'm a part of the affiliate program, I'm thinking. Select two primary categories of products you'll be recommending through your social media presence. I'm gonna say, Clothing. Ooh, this is hard. I want to say electronics, maybe. Can you pick more? No. Okay. Is your content primarily directed at children under 13? No. You agree? Save and finish. The verification was pretty much instant. As you can see, it's active and I got approved. So let's go ahead and make my storefront account. So right now I'm in the affiliate program. We're going to click on influencers and my page and that is going to directly take us to our storefront. So 
As you can see, you can add to your storefront. You can make an idea list, which I already created a fashion items one, or you can do a shoppable photo. So we're actually gonna just do another idea list. Um, let's say, I don't know, technology. I don't know if these are supposed to be like funny or punny or whatever, but we can always go back and change them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and link my vlogging camera because I feel like I get a lot of questions about that so maybe in the future I'll actually make like a list of all the items that I want to add to my pages and then just come in here because you can see your list over here when I was going through my orders I wanted to add it to a list just so I could transfer it over to my influencer page but I actually saw that down here in the add to your idea list it has all the categories that are on my influencer page so that makes it really easy so I'm gonna add this one to technology I went through all my past orders and opened them up into new tabs and now I'm just going to go through one by one and add them to their lists. Now let's explore how to create a shoppable photo. So we're going to click that. I'm guessing you're going to have to upload a photo. Yes, add an image. Okay, so we have our image right here. So basically you're just going to click wherever the product is. So right here is the jean jacket. So I'm going to, let's see, go to my purchases, let see, yeah, there we go. And then these sunglasses are from Amazon. So again, your purchases and there they are. So that was actually really easy and we're just going to click done and post. For some reason, I'm not seeing it on my page where I can edit, but you can click up here, see what others see, and there we go. There's my post right here. And you can see that there are two shoppable items on this photo, so we're just gonna click it, go ahead and see what it looks like, and it's kind of like like to know it if you guys are familiar with that platform. Literally every blogger I know uses that platform, so it's really nice that they have shoppable photos because I feel like it just makes your page look a little bit more engaging and more personal because your face is actually on it other than just your profile picture. So I'm definitely gonna add some more photos um, and it makes you look a lot more credible because you actually own the items. Like I think I'm gonna probably make a list of like what I want in case I want to let you guys know like what's on my wish list that I don't have. I mean, some of these fashion items you see on my cart, I'm definitely gonna buy those soon, but pretty much everything in here, actually all of it, is from my past orders. Like I said, you really shouldn't be promoting anything that you don't actually love and use just to get commission because your followers will see right through it and it's just gonna be really obvious. I did wanna bring up one con about using the Amazon affiliate program. Many of you probably know the app Like to Know It where you can shop all of your bloggers' outfits. That is basically the same thing as reward style. Reward style's commissions can be a lot higher. I've seen that it can go up to like 20%. I personally have been a part of the program for a while now and the only reason I wanted to sign up for the Amazon influencer program was to create a shop page because I currently don't have one consolidated page where I have all my favorites or what I've been using recently so I definitely thought that was really cool so when it comes to IG stories instead of linking it through the Amazon affiliate program I will most likely still be using reward style links just because they do have a higher commission so that is how you can make money by simply promoting Amazon products that you love I hope y'all found this video helpful you can check out my amazon shop down below in the description box if you guys are in the shopping mood when y'all do create your amazon shops definitely leave them in the comments down below so that we can all shop each other's pages i feel like i'm always on the hunt for new fashion pieces and even all in my next video bye